Right, okay, I missed a week, okay? I'm sorry, we got two episodes in and I fucked it up already and missed a week. I was ill, leave me alone, don't be mean. Hi, hi, hi folks, we're back for another episode of Chatbot. <laughs> can, can I be mean? I mean, you, you I don't can be ill, but I... You can be as I mean as you fucking want. Mean <laughs> I would expect nothing less than meanness from my guest for this week's episode. It is the lovely Dan Siles! Hello, everyone! How Hello. are you, good Hi. sir? I'm very good, and I've just got the dogs in. Goodness sense. As you do. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Pluffs. Go to bed. Mine has pissed off Hello. and left me alone for this one, so <laughs> I am being abandoned for an episode. How are you? I'm fine. Got be- I've got a beautiful cup of coffee in my Bambi mug. Ah. Going, going full Disney princess today, I am. Why you know. not? And the good thing um, is, this is the first episode of anything that we've both recorded where we don't look like fucking hobos. Exactly, because <laughs> it's it. I mean, if... Depending on when you put this episode up, you've already seen the first episode of the new series. Yes. And uh, I actually had a haircut. I don't look homeless. <laughs> I mean, I had now, a haircut and still look homeless, so... Now, to be honest, I just look like... My face just looks more like an egg. <laughs> you <know? laughs> Is your head cold? My head's cold. <laughs> my head's been um, cold for about a week now, and I'm still not sure how I feel about it. Caitlin <laughs> running up to me asking me if they can paint it for Easter. That's probably just <laughs> As long as they don't come up and try and chuck you down a hill, I suppose you're doing all right. Uh, to be honest, to be honest, as 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 the local fat man, I'd probably just go down that hill very quickly. Um. <laughs> Gravity is your friend. Um, but folks are looking at the screen, going, "Hmm, what game are they playing for Chatbot this week?" We had uh, Animal Crossing with Z. We had Uno with Duo of Me and Lemon. And this week we have because Dan is a big, big World of Warcraft player. I'm talking like big fan of Warcraft. How long have you been playing it for now? Oh, a good massive few years, about six, seven years. <laughs> a good massive few years. A good massive few As you can tell, I am brilliant with words. <laughs> Fuck it, else is going to be an interview. You've got an interviewer who speaks Scottish and people can't understand, and I've got you replying with things like that. I can have big, better words now. Thank you. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's going to be very English for because you've got a Scotchman trying to speak English, and you've got an idiot trying to speak English. <laughs> Folks, you're on to a winner. If this one goes less than 30 minutes, you're not going to be surprised why. It's because we both fucking gave up trying to understand. But uh, yeah, we're going to play a bit of Hearthstone. So I used to play this myself many moons ago when I worked in retail and was bored out of my mind and had nothing else to do while I was sitting selling furniture. And uh, Dan, you still you dabble every so often. Do you? Yeah, I dabble mainly in the Battlegrounds version of it. Yeah. I'm not really too big into the whole, I want to say, one-on-one stuff because... You only ever see the like the big decks going forward straight away. Only those, not really much creativity going into it. But the battlegrounds, it's always different because there's some cards out each 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 round. There's always some cards left out. Yeah. Other cards that and so yeah, see, that's, I mean, I quite I quite enjoy it. I think we might mix things up with that bit because I am going to issue a friendly challenge to you now. Basically, we are normally. In fact, let's go. Well, let's go for a standard friendly battle, friendly challenge first, okay. shall we? There we go. I've, I've sent you a challenge now. It should have pop you? up there. There you go. Oh, you have no standard decks, apparently. You only have wild decks. Um, How dare them? Yeah, I normally just go wild because I, 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 I've never really been bothered. But to be honest, that, that new one that I've just made, hmm. I think, is a standard one. I just haven't changed it to standard. Ah, okay. Do you want to change it to standard? Uh, I have no idea how I can, though. That's the entire thing. I if you go into great. my collection... All right, we're going into my collection. Get buff with gruff. Uh, um, click on the deck that you want to change, I think. Right, oh, no, no, convert- that's a lie. Oh yeah, you might have convert to standard. Convert to standard. There we go, beautiful. There she blows. Right, let me go Arr back and in blows. here. So while we're setting this up, Dan, I am going to ask you the uh, the standard intro question that folks will always experience now. What is your go-to takeaway of choice? We want to know what brand you're going. No, not not what brand. We don't want to know like what names. Brand? What names of takeaways? But you know what um, orientation are you? You know mm. Chinese pizza, Indian, Italian, whatever. And what you would go for. So your ideal takeaway. What have you got? Okay. So first off, as you can see, I am the local fat man. I <laughs> love my food, right? So I'm the perfect person to answer this question. Answer. This question, <laughs> right? uh, I am a massive fan of my Chinese. Um, best. Uh, best, the best thing, best meal I have with my Chinese. Now I order a lot of Chinese because it can be used the next year. Uh, I see. No, no, screw that. I eat all in one night. <laughs> oh yeah, don't worry. I, I said it can. <laughs> like, it can Not that it consistently year. is. <laughs> exactly. So, how special egg fried young? How special egg fried rice? Um, how special? How special chicken chow mein? Ooh. 
it is. And then you've got um, some fried rice on its own, some chips, and you always get free prawns uh, snackers, but I will always buy an extra pack just for myself. Yeah. Uh, I'll say, I'm, a pr- I'm a prawn toast guy, so, you know, I'm saying nothing. Mm. I'm, I'm posh. <laughs> Yeah, and then you'll always like some spring rolls with it as well because, like you say, you're buying so much that they send randomly free stuff. Ooh, have you ever had? I don't know if your uh, if your local takeaway does it, but um, mm. chicken and cheese spring rolls. No, I don't think I was t- as I was does that. It's probably a Scottish thing. They went ah, two things we can fry, <laughs> chuck them in together. Fuck it. Um, you mean for you mean you mean just the things we can add cheese to? Basically, yes. Um, <laughs> right, okay. So, folks, you know by now, go into the comment section of this video, and I want a rating out of ten for Dan's takeaway of choice. We'll have a recap at the end of the video of what it is, but that's what we want you to rate. So, rating out of ten, and at the end of this uh, this first season, we'll call it of episodes that we're running. There will be a leaderboard based on where you, the viewers, have ranked everyone's takeaways. We've had Z's. Uh, Z's was a Chinese as well, actually, I believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lemon was the buns. The actual name of the buns escapes me now because, hello, idiot. And now we have Dan's Chinese going in there as well. So that'll see who's top three out of the folks so far. And we've got some pretty cool guests lined up for future episodes, so I'm I'm intrigued to see what they're doing. Uh, Indeed, indeed. Right, let's go... Let's go with this deck. Now, we're not sharing screens with each other during this gameplay because we don't want to see each other's... <laughs> we're not going to show each other our decks. Uh, <laughs> apparently, we're not, anyway. But, um, apparently. So, yeah, you obviously, we've mentioned already that you do you do play quite a lot of Warcraft and stuff. What yeah. What got you into playing Warcraft originally? Because it's, it's quite an all-encompassing thing, isn't it? Uh, it's really all-encompassing, but the main thing that got me into it was just... Boredom? <laughs> <laughs> It was. I mean, I was. I was in school when I started. I was not the best at school. I mean, I'm bright to hmm. some degree. Um, to I some bet degree. Your, your, your job is challenging, or the, your studies and stuff are challenging for mm. what you're building towards. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, but other than that, um, that's basically it. Do that. So yeah, a bit of a bit of something to fill the time and kill the time, essentially, to try and keep yeah, people at the same time. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And then it just kind of overtook me life, basically. I, the first thing I do was basically log in and do me dailies. You know? <laughs> <laughs> log in, get it going, get it going, get it going. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I don't blame I mean, now, in addition to Warcraft, you are... you. Were, I would say you were a streamer, but you're more of a, a YouTube content creator these days with your Pokemon yeah. stuff as well, aren't you? How did, how did the... Uh, that line of things come around? How did the transition work between from Twitch into YouTube more? Uh, well, the more thing for like say for the Twitch is you're always com- with say with the with the with with Twitch you're always competing about the people who are going to be online at the same time as you, hmm. right? And whilst you ca- you you can efficiently build uh, yourself on Twitch, it's it's. I'm saying it's not that hard to do. We both have some communities that we've built off Twitch. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like with videos, they are there twenty four seven. You can, if you want to see someone, you can just look up someone and just watch some content, even if you've missed that content that day. Yeah. Right. That's uh, what really got me into um, YouTube. Is that the fact that you could. Be, you're, you're basically on the internet 24 7. Yeah. And if you like, if you you put up a video at a certain time, you can post that content. Anyone during what any time what they're doing can mm-hmm. go. Okay, I'll he's post that content. I can watch that later. You know, I don't have to. I, I don't have to log on to Twitch. You yeah. know, go and you know and be, uh, potentially miss out on some stuff. Yeah, the content's yeah. always there and always available, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And by the way, folks, if any, for those watching this, uh, the link to Dan's YouTube channel is in uh, the description below this, as is the link to his Twitch as well. So by all means, go give him a follow. But more importantly, go subscribe to Dan's YouTube channel because there's a lot of stuff coming out this year, isn't there? You and I have uh, yeah. just started recording a series now as well. Yes, we Another have. One. There's a lot, of new, a lot of new content. We just started the new series, the Cage Lock um, which I'm actually looking forward to because I'm really going to show off a little bit more of my editing skills because of the new way that we're doing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's we, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> trying to set that up with the start was fantastic. Oh, Christ. Uh, <laughs> Dangerous. Uh, either, uh, either you had to change the way you were looking at it or I had to change the way I was looking at it. And then if I had to change the way I was looking at it, I had to change the layout. So. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> Fucking hell. Interesting, interesting. Oh, look at that thing. Uh, 
Uh, and then, like, halfway through, like, an episode where if we defeat, like, a gym, we've got to, like, stop and then go into... Um... Go into a battle. Go into a battle, really, and yeah. then that's basically just got to go into other stuff, which I'm actually quite looking forward to, really. It, it is going to be quite interesting, I must admit. I am intrigued to see how it goes. Mm. Oh, shush, dog. Dog has decided now is the time to start barking. Ah, <sighs> dear. Oh, damn. Okay, that that's a big, beefy boy. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. It's this a big, beefy boy. Okay, okay. It smacks in, smacks in a bit of trouble here. Okay. Uh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Where, uh... All your death rattle summoning something. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, dude. <laughs> I know. It's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Stop playing aggro builds. <laughs> I like aggro! <laughs> aggro is my friend! Scottish people always like aggro. I wonder why. <laughs> they can't help themselves. Uh, no, hang on, actually. What is... No! Put the card down. What is it? What is Greybow? Greybow. Oh, Greybow. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, let's go. Do you have to like attack him? Right? <laughs> <laughs> he still survived. <laughs> yeah. For now. <laughs> For now. Uh, right, hang on. Do I want to do? Yeah, I do. do you know, I think I'm gonna. I've... <laughs> I had a grand idea there, but you've just screwed it over. <laughs> You're gonna give that the same death rattle of Grimo. <laughs> actually, yeah, actually, yeah, because I, I had another Grimo in my hand, so basically, we're like, play that, and each time Grimo died, it would summon another Grimo. Keep the Grimo's coming. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear! So listen, that away from um, away from like you know content creation and stuff, which obviously like you know you have been doing for a while. Now. What what else tends to fill your time? I believe you're studying something at college just now, aren't you? What what's taking yes. up your time? I am I am studying uh, computer science, mainly going into like say network security, ethical mm -hmm. hacking, that sort of thing, and I, it does a little bit of web does web. Uh, web design in there as well. Yeah, which is which is quite say really fun. I really enjoy it. So. Yeah, is that something that you have wanted yeah. to do for a while? Or well, at the start I did forensic science. At the very when I was very younger, I say when I was like 18, 18, 19, I started I started going into the forensic science one because I really liked science. I don't know why. I just had the uh, Lion King song come into my head when I was a young warthog. <laughs> I'm sorry, that actually fits me quite well. <laughs> I don't know why that just came into my head. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ah, uh, there's something wrong with me, dude. <laughs> dude. Uh, no one well, we knows already what's wrong with that. <laughs> we already knew that. Indeed, but it's totally worth it. Uh, yeah, so I once I did, like, say I did, like, three years in university uh, mm -hmm. for forensic science. Yeah. But then I realised that half, more than half of the forensic science services in the England were shut down. Oh. So, yeah, most of the people who were getting the, like, people getting, like, doing the forensic science service were going all the way up to Scotland, Wales, or over to Miami. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, I was yet 19. I could not be asked to travel. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. That would I be couldn't. a tad annoying. So, uh, okay. when uh, I decided to change, I went into, like I said, I tried to do a tried normal job for clear. Like I said, I worked in a, a, a takeaway for a little bit, did call center work for student finance, and just never really took... I like being at the computer, I like doing stuff. Like I said, my dream would be to either do some good stuff on YouTube, be an editor or content mm -hmm. creator, that sort of thing. Yeah. But, I see, if none of those really work out, I'll, I'll, my other, like I said, dream would be network security yeah and do you uh, feel that, that is something you're building towards oh yeah definitely feel like something that i'm building towards yeah, yeah. like say once like once i finish like say i finished my course in june mm -hmm. and then um i'm going into an internship in in one of the sunderland uh universities okay i am which decent salary to be honest 23 grand a, a, a year to be honest just for an internship because yeah, that's not bad for an internship to be honest mm -hmm. <laughs> It's more than I earn as a full-time employee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take an internship in that line. Jesus. Indeed. But Indeed. it is it is quite an important job as well, let's be fair. It's not one that 
you can just like fall into, is it really? Well, no, not really, because like I say, you've got to learn how other types of systems work. I mean, yeah. you're, only, you're only taught one system, be able to take that knowledge and then put it towards another system. Yeah. And with a lot of things going online nowadays, um, you'll be surprised. I'd be surprised how much easy it is to hack something. I, yeah, I can imagine. I mean, I know how easy it would be for anyone to hack my system because mm. I have all of the internet security, he says, lying through his fucking teeth. Well, you see, you see the thing is, right, you, you know, a lot of people, when I say, I say Tom, but now, like, like hacking or something, they don't really know what actually can be hacked. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. phone, computer, yeah. tablet, those things are the ones you would 100% know about. Yeah. But then you go into the stuff that you didn't uh, know about, which is TV. Mm -hmm. Your TV can be hacked. Oh, okay. Uh, smart light bulbs. Jeez. Mm -hmm. uh, Alexa's easily, everyone knows that. Alexa's always listening. Aren't you Alexa? Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking twat. <laughs> um, anything that can basically connect to the internet, yeah. which is more or less like the, uh, USB plug sockets that uh, connect via the internet via your uh, Amazon Electra, they can also be hacked. Jeez. So, it's very fun. Uh, yeah. that is my no, on, I have nothing for this. <laughs> I freaking love that death rattle so much. So yeah, I'll, I'll hands up to folks. Like I say, I used to play this quite a lot. I haven't played it in quite some fucking time, and we're still learning the decks as we go. But it, it, it's it is kind of fun. So would you, when it comes to sort of people's basic own internet security and what they run, what what would be your advice to people who are using, um, you know, things like smart TVs and all that, the the kind of content that you wouldn't expect to be hacked? Or they uh, wouldn't know can be. What what would you be your advice to them? Go into the settings. Mm -hmm. Try and find a way into your settings. There's always a way into the manual. And change the password of it. There's always a password on it. And it's always either two things. Mm -hmm. Admin. Yeah. Or password. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that I've changed some of my things to that, but yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. No, 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 none, none, none at all. Not at all. <gasps> Damn. Mm. Oof. Okay, there's some big beefy boys. Oh, those. Oh, Jesus Christ! Those are some big beefy boys. Yeah, you're lucky. I can't tie it. <laughs> <sighs> I'd have just survived. Bloody hell! Uh, right, never mind. Okay, we'll do you there. There. Part of me feels like you have the twisting nether. You know? I don't. That's the thing. It's not even in this deck. That's oh, the annoying wow. part. Uh, right, there I go. Yeah, we'll do you. And you. We'll then do... Hmm. No, I'll save you for now. Ah, that's great. And just hope you don't get much in the way of spells that come out. Now. Yeah, I'm literally going. I'm literally drawing one card, and I have no idea what it is. So, exactly. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. 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 All right. Sadly, I have to kill things. Yes, you do. It's it's good to me. I like it. <laughs> I am absolutely fine with you killing things. Please kill things. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just love the amount of uh, effort we went to choosing a game for this uh, for the, for this recording. By the way, <laughs> yeah. So, for those who are maybe unsure of how we go about the process of it, um, we suggest a couple of games to each other. Um, we then usually go, "Oh fuck, no!" Uh, <laughs> Mainly due to the size of the game, isn't that right, Smack? <laughs> Jesus. So Dan maybe recommended Sea of Thieves, which I was quite intrigued by. Um, I thought, yeah, that could be good fun. Um, <laughs> also, got one of your legendaries, thanks. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> Let's drag this game out of it. <laughs> drag it out a little bit, why not? Um, why not? So yeah, I went into uh, Sea of Thieves and it was like 55 gig of a size file. Mother fudger! Um, <laughs> then we looked at a couple of other things and it was like, yeah, maybe... Maybe not, maybe we don't know, we can't think. And then I just all of a sudden went, fuck it, fire, let's just go with this. <laughs> Overkill! <laughs> Yeah, we're like we're excited, like because half, like more than like, half the games that we play, like are not on each other's steams, are not on each other's steams list. Exactly. So 
if you wanted to play a game that you didn't know, you'd spend half the time talking to me doing yeah. the interview, and then the other half trying to figure out what the hell is going on in the fudging game. And having no clue whatsoever. I'm going to choose a completely different deck. You can stick with what you want, but obviously that's... Uh, yeah, do you, want, do you mind if we go wild, just so I can use me at all power? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, oh. back. I mean, I will challenge you to a wild one. It's a real wild one. Wild one. Wild one. Uh, da, 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 there you go. Um, right. Yeah, let's go with that one. I'll still try the other deck. I'd have, if I'd thought about it and we were going to do wild, I wouldn't have disenchanted all of my cards earlier, and I would have played an old school wild deck, just for the laughs. Um, yeah. What was I talking about? We were talking about someone before I came out of that game. I forgot what it was. Welcome to Chatbot, folks, <laughs> where your host goes off on a fucking tangent and completely forgets what he's doing, as usual. But listen, uh, we've asked this of our, our two previous guests, so I'm going to ask you as well. How has lockdown been for you? It's been a challenge. Mm -hmm. I want to say that. It has definitely been a challenge. Because, um... Oh, how to describe it? I like seeing people. Yeah. I like seeing the small group of people that is my friends. Mm -hmm. And for, like say, I have people on the internet. I have you. I have Z. I have a lot of other friends on the internet. Yeah. Um, and... I would have loved to see you join, like, say, the summer of last year. Yeah. Um, but, like, say, one probably didn't. I don't think I even knew you back then. Uh, but... um, yeah, I think it was around about October, November time, I think we started exactly, chatting. Exactly, yeah. I would say. But, yeah, no, I, I'm with you there. It's I'm not much of a people person, but mm -hmm. the people who I do have around, it would have yeah. been nice to actually, um, you know, have people around. <laughs> exactly, and, like, just being sitting in the house, like with just the same because I would say I I I had to be in shielding. Yeah, I do. Um, so I could not leave the house mainly for whatever reason. Mm. I couldn't. So you were just kind of stuck in the entire stuck. time. Yeah, I was just basically stuck in the house, and it didn't feel all too well. Like I said, it's a good thing I say I had my family there. Yeah. To like say keep us company because like I say I moved back in with my family at the end at the start at the start of the other lockdown. Like say I was. About two miles away from them, like I said, you say two miles. Was I lived in Ashington beforehand? Hmm. Now I'm back in Sunderland. And do you mind not killing all my people? <laughs> I don't mind. No. <laughs> okay. <then. laughs> oh, but sorry. Yeah, no, um... I do mind. I do mind not killing them. I mind not ki words. <laughs> that shut my own do fucking you... brain off there. I was gonna say, do you mind having words, please? I know. I do apologize. I have some words. Just some, not a lot. Just some, not a lot, and certainly not much logic that goes with it. But, um, so yeah, just in general, have you, how have you been able to cope with it? Like, how have, what have you done to try and pass your time? What's what's kept you going? Oh, I, I I do have all my time in the world of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah, I do have all my time. I am literally like I was like start of lockdown. I was just someone who just chilled in the game, but now I am a leader of a guild. Mm -hmm. I am I'm leave, I'm I'm basically the leader of a community in in that game now. I uh, you see, I I basically run raids. I run a guild. I have literally become more organised mm, okay. than I was outside of lock outside of lockdown because I had to learn how to manage yeah. a group of twenty people to do as I say. <laughs> <laughs> manage the people to do what I want. Pretty much, yeah. That's exactly how it works. How how big is your guild now? Oh, I say we've had we've had people come and go. So I would say it's about with with socials. We've got about what. 50, 60 people. Damn. But in, in, inside the raids, with just the raids, it's raiders itself. And yeah. um, we've got about between 15 and 20. Yeah. And then they say, we made friends with another guild uh, called Zug Zug. Okay. Um, they're a, a bunch of beautiful people. Mm -hmm. And their guild masters, like, joined our Discord, and he's literally more active in our Discord than his own. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so he kept busy. It, pretty much. We've literally just been having fun with. Other people mm. and other and just, that's basically what you need to do. You just need to enjoy it, really. Yeah. How uh, how often are you sort of doing raids and stuff? Like, how often is your your guild getting together and chatting online, oh, doing what you can? Do? Um, we I say we used to. We 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 do two raids a week. We're mm -hmm. every Friday and Sunday on times when they can. Okay. Uh, but with like I said, with the 
COVID stuff that's been going on, the company that makes the game Blizzard haven't been able to put out regular content as they would normally do. They would normally do like content between every seven to seventy-seven to eighty-five days yeah. for patches. But now they can't because obviously uh, what happened with COVID. Yeah. Uh, so, so the console at the moment were like one hundred and twenty days in with no content extra. Jeez. So people are starting to like take a break from the game because it would basically have been running the same raid over and over again. Yeah. And we're just basically just trying to enjoy it. Trying to keep yourselves going. Pretty much, yes. Yeah, I must admit, uh, that's, that's been a problem for a lot of people, I think, is finding the... Uh, it's not so much finding the games to play, it's finding the content to keep everyone going. Mm-hmm. You know, a yeah, lot of people have had that issue with it. Is I mean, look at games like um, Among Us. Uh, games like uh, Fallout, uh, Fallout, Fall Guys, and everything else that's come along. You know, what I mean, it, it kind of it's done it for everyone. The games yeah, themselves right, were right, great, yeah. but the content wasn't, mm-hmm. um, which was kind of sucky, if I'm honest. Uh, where are we? Okay. Ooh, hello. Oh, that'll be my son coming home. My son has walked through the door while I'm recording an episode, so shush, be quiet. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> say, hello to, say hello to my son. <laughs> say hello to my little friend. <laughs> he is literally my little friend. <laughs> literally. No, I won't. I won't do that one. <laughs> I'm going to hold that card for a little bit longer. Um, so when it comes to like content creation and stuff, stuff that you've done mm. uh, in the past or that you do now, what would you say is the ideal way for like people to get started on it? How how like how did you get started on content creation as a whole? So like YouTube or just Twitch? Just general? anything, just any so form of content. Best thing you can do is basically find someone you're more in, you, you, like say you're more interested who is interested in the same things as you are mm-hmm. so for example we're at our community we've got people who love playing minecraft we have a lot of people who play pokemon we have people who love playing um uh we have people who love playing uh world of warcraft we have people who love playing say hearthstone we have a lot of people who love playing different things yes yeah. um and the best thing you can do is just find a small group of people. It can just be two, but it can be like maybe more, and just find a way to do content with them because it's much easier mm-hmm. to do to start doing content with other people and then branching out with yourself. Then because then you people already know you, they already know some form of your personality. Yeah, that is to brand like start solo and then having to think of like content ideas where to keep ways to keep conversation going because yeah the worst thing you can do is on your own is trying to find something to talk about mm-hmm. when you often don't have something to talk about in general yeah that that can be a problem is trying to fill dead air almost i mean yeah, like obviously for us we get that. we could literally sit and ramble on for bloody ages about absolutely anything <laughs> because no idea it just happens yeah <laughs> folks are just like what it's like yeah trust trust just have faith <laughs> trust, trust that Tr- we could do trust it. us we can do it yes <laughs> <laughs> it could easily happen fucking trust me um let's do oh shit no hang on nah stay there i'm still i'm trying to remember uh, uh no, okay, I don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Do you not want that? Are you sure? I, don't, I don't want all those. I really don't. Oh, God. Uh, okay, we'll do that one. And then we'll do that one. Oh, God. And we'll do that one. <laughs> just throwing out fucking cards all over the place now. Just, la, just la, la! Uh, fuck it, yeah, we'll do that one. And that one. Do you mind? I just spawned on. Yes, I know. And having played Odd Paladin often enough in the past, I know that keeping the board as clear as possible is the only way I fucking win this. <laughs> I hate odd and even decks. I always thought the Gen Grey main when it came out was going to be the deck to play. Like, the even decks were going to be fun. They just weren't. That improved hero power was just stupidly good, as opposed to the reduced Oh, yeah, power. 100%. It was like, so bloody look at, annoying. Look at that, you cleared my deck and I've already took back and board control, really. Exactly. <laughs> it's just like, and he's already got it back again. It's fine. Um, right. Uh, 
Oh. Yeah. Thank you. It's <laughs> fine, but it just wanted him off the bloody board. <laughs> it's just because it was the taunt, right? I was just like, get him off the damn board! Uh... Okay. Oh. What you got? Oh! Useful. Very useful. <laughs> Get the fuck off my board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you make it sound like it's the, it's the last time you've ever heard you've ever seen Oh, fuck, times. I know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's fucking coming. Um, do I want to do that? No, I want that one. That's what I want. <sighs> right, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so, first things first, we... <laughs> uh, Alright, we'll summon that for nothing. Yeah. Uh, God, I remember when that was a 5 5. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it was so annoying. I need cards. Damn. Okay. It's still Jesus Christ. Yeah, like that. It's still Jesus Christ. Uh, I hate oh. this bloody deck so much. <laughs> Ah! Uh, and I hate then this we bloody deck. And voila! I have more board control again. Just save, like, save control of your 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 deck. That's all you need to do. Like, there's no rush. Just. Ah. Oh, you have no idea. I still haven't got my best stuff out yet. Oh, I know. I'm fucking well aware. Like I say, haven't played this deck often enough in the past. Uh. Do you mind not having divine shield and a poisonous mate? That's that's, 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 that's <laughs> It's fucking cheating, I know. <laughs> it really is. Like that's what battlegrounds is. Is basically um, a lot of poisonous murlocs. Yeah. God anyway. bless the murlocs. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my fucking board. Go off. Get off my fucking board, by the way, but. Oh, okay. Do you mind? <laughs> like, I've killed him so many times. I know, and I keep bringing him back, because it's fun. <laughs> like, he's the perfect count of this board, because it's oh, ridiculous. Me, one HP. Frenzy is so good. Like, the only time this comes in more handy is against bloody Murlocs. <laughs> Murlocs everywhere, which again, ironically, everyone runs with Paladins, which is great mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> it's just so much fun. Uh, can I get rid of them? No, I can't. Ah, uh, dear, dear, dear. So what's what's the uh, the rest of 2021 looking like for you? How is how is your sh right. your year shaping up now? So it's starting off. We're going to start off basically building up. Um, mm -hmm. So we've got the channel building up. Um, basically doing the Pokemon content. We've got the the course finishing. We have the internship starting job work, which is something I'm really looking forward to doing. Mm -hmm. We have the um new house that I would be moving into hopefully soon I have like money saved up we're gonna buy a whole load of furniture we want to enjoy that mm -hmm. and why <laughs> oh you son of a bitch you thought you saw you see what I was going for don't you yeah I can see what you were working at now and you know Rick. thanks <laughs> <laughs> And you know someone, I'll just use it so you don't get it back. <laughs> I don't need it at all, I'm just burning the fucker. <laughs> I'm just burning it so you don't have it in your hand. <laughs> wait, wait, have we just have we swapped decks? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll swap back as well, though. Um, hang on, where oh, is it? Oh, I really hope not. Yeah, it's until my next turn. <laughs> so, <laughs> basically, you have control of my cards until my next turn. <laughs> It's fine. That's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to regret it, but it's absolutely fine. <laughs> you're you're going to take it away from me, you dickhead. <laughs> How dare you take my rush minion! You dare <laughs> take my blade master, Samuro! Oh, Samuro is going to kick your ass! Pretty Fuck. much, yeah. Fuck, I was going to bring that one back. <laughs> I know you were. There we go. <laughs> and now we swap everything round again. Yay! 
<laughs> give me, give me Blade Summer. But it's fine. You've basically given me all those dream cards without me having to play you, Sarah. <laughs> Yeah, but the whole thing was now. Uh, basically, I played that because you sort of said I, I, I care to keep it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, the, the 2021 is starting to be like a really be a really good year. Lockdown ending. Yeah. Finally, being able to go out and see people, going to really enjoy it. Actually, get out and do things. That's the fun part. Exactly. Start the gym. Start it up. Nice. Yep. Start to lose this. Did like an hour at the gym the other time. Uh, the other time I said Wednesday. Going to do another another hour uh, tomorrow. So we're going to enjoy that. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh, for <laughs> <sake. laughs> He's come back every time. <laughs> It's so much fun! Ah, fuck it. Like, do you just mind? Uh, I mean, I don't, know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I've never ever beat an old paladin. This could be a first. They always fucking whoop my ass. Damn these cards for being fun. <laughs> so what's the, uh... Obviously, you're saying you're getting back to the gym. Is there is there a goal? Is it a get fit, lose weight? What's the uh, what's the overall target, or is it uh, just a get in and do shit? Uh, basically, the the goal is 100% lose the weight because yeah. like you say, I am I am big boy. We know I am big boy. Mm -hmm. uh, but the only, the only way I'm going to get in there and lose the weight is actually going to the gym and lose it. Yeah. You know, me sitting here on the couch doing nothing is basically doing nothing. <laughs> it's not helping. <laughs> it is not indeed. Uh, right, let's do you. Again, do you mind? I have planned <laughs> so much into that because you know what I'm planning. <laughs> I know, and I'm trying my hardest to fucking avoid it. Uh, I noticed. Fuck, I'll play that one. Why not? Uh, we'll play you. Come on! <laughs> Got the damage on the board! <laughs> right. The damage is there. It's ready to go. Yeah, we'll do that. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that Stonehill Defender was the bane of my life. Now I remember why I stopped playing this game. <laughs> so, um, one of the other things we like to ask our guests as well is, in addition to your takeaway, uh, who mm. would you like to see on an episode of Chatbot going forward? Who do you think Ooh. the viewers out there would like to get to know a little bit more? It can be anyone as well. It doesn't have to be anyone from within our friend circle. Anyone at all. We will legitimately reach out to them and try and ask them to come join us. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So first I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually reach into my thing and see if I can find a lot of interesting people. Because there is... Fuck, if don't look at my Discord, you'll have to dig deep. Uh, there is a lot of interesting people in our community. Exactly. Just skip past my name. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Watch me sit in dual screen well, interview myself. Yeah. Um, oh. <gasps> so I, I do want to like move outside of the Discord because obviously if you just if you do want to keep interviewing people in your own in your like say in the own community, you're going to get pretty much the same answers. A uh, yes. In terms of who you want people in. So I want to do reach out into the into 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 you're other people's community. You're going to run out of time. Uh, I'm, I'm finished anyway. I was, oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I, was, I was making time. So I'm just going to quickly head over to the Twitch channel. I am. Um, let's see who we can find. Which could. Anyway, and I do want to keep things like, say, Pokemon related. <laughs> there it is. Because I can. Actually, there is someone I do want to. Thingry, and uh, let's see. His name is uh, Nanners. Oh, Nanners! Yeah, not C Nanners. <laughs> his, name is, his name is actually C Nanners, but he's but he's not actually the C Nanners everyone's thinking about. <laughs> he's a world. Of, he is a World of Warcraft streamer. Okay. He does. He's basically he's in my. Uh, he's, he was in my guild. Mm -hmm. uh, he's basically been chilling now. He's in also Zug Zug. Okay. And okay. Been, basically, he's been chilling, and he's a mythic. He's basically a mythic uh, streamer. Uh huh. He, is, he streams like the the content typically that's higher than what I play. Okay. So yeah, I, I think I think that'll be a great. I think we'd see another uh, World of Warcraft streamer on here. Someone who was like, outside of your friend circle for your interview. I like that idea. I, Don't I, like, that. I like it a lot. 
I don't like the fact that you just gave that nine attack. <laughs> Hadouken! <laughs> and just to be a little bit more annoying. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> just bump up its fucking health a little bit more. So it's mm -hmm. a beefy boy to get rid of. It's beefy boy! Beefy, beefy dry, mother fudging fudger. It's that, that. That, that. <laughs> <Now we're wrong. laughs> <Done>. <laughs> got rid of it. I got rid of it. <laughs> oh, I feel naughty, like that was naughty. the wrong choice. I feel like that was the wrong choice. I feel like you're just gonna bring back that samurai again. Ah, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But do I risk that or do I risk? Uh... I've got nine health and. Eight cards left in my deck. I don't think I've got much that comes up a chance against stuff. I, oh, yo. Yeah. It's tactical. It's tactical. Is it? Yeah. I'm hoping you don't pull anything that I'm expecting you to pull here. That's okay. That's okay as well. That. Oh. Ow. Ow. Mm hmm. Ow. Ow. Just a little bit of ow. Mm hmm. A little, little bit ouchy. Mm hmm. Yeah. <sighs> One card in particular that I don't want you to play, um, but I don't know. If there it is. Do you want it to go? Do you want it? Like, uh, never mind. What knowledge the stars provide? You can fuck off as well. If you just wait, if you just wait, you know. Really? <laughs> The board clears on this control priest are ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Ooh. Worst part is I know exactly one card that you've got in your hand, and playing that is basically the only way to get rid of it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's like, yes, yes, it is. Um. There we go, now you can't one shot it with that fucker. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it wasn't one shotted from that. Ooh, nice. Baku! Moon Eater! Dude, I have literally two cards in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I've got six, I'm not much better. Yeah, but I don't know what six yours has. I think I know what two I've got, and one of them is... <laughs> Don't want that bad boy in my way. I'm almost out of, right. I'm <laughs> I'm really almost out of cards. <laughs> I'm really glad that the fact that I know, like, I feel like I can still technically win this. Oh, you can, without a fucking doubt. It's you... I don't know what those last four cards are, and you've got a big beefy boy on the board. That's a yeah. That's the entire thing. <laughs> Uh, Don't be a good dragon. Do not be a good dragon. Do not be a not, good it's dragon. Not, it's Thank not. God. <laughs> <laughs> the one dragon that was, I would like you to buy, get you Sarah, Deathwing. Uh, you know, I mean, I would have fucking screamed for a Deathwing right about now. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, that pretty much seals my fate. Oh, yay. The Uzi guy. I know. Well, this is it, because you were down to bloody... Um, you'd already mm. burned all your weapons by the time I drew him. So I was like, he serves me no purpose, but there might still be a weapon of mist. I wasn't sure if I'd all kept right. track of him properly, so I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, game over. I think you've got it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eighteen. I'm at twenty-two. And, yeah. See, the thing is, right, if I let you live, <laughs> right, you can do, yeah, if I let those two live, right, you do six damage to me. Yeah. Right? I have no idea what the next card you're going to draw is. <laughs> exactly. Do, do I risk it? Do you risk it for all in? I mean, this is probably. I mean, we're at forty-five minutes, so this is probably our last game. It's up oh, to you. Wow. Do you risk it? Right, I want to. I want to kill one. I think that's the idea. Okay. Okay. Ow. Ow. And then Ow. I do that. Put another one. Ow. I am risking it for the chocolate biscuit. I need six damage. 
You do need just six damage. Uh, and I don't think Have there's any got... left. No, oh. no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh... <laughs> so, so... You know the worst part is you have actually you have actually like uh, I'm, sur I'm seeing it out one, one more turn. I know. Yeah, you survived one more turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I healed it. I'm like, I get one more turn out of it at least because <laughs> there's only five more damage. I can't remember what's left in my deck. <laughs> Is there anything that can deal eight damage? Eight more damage. You need to find the eight damage, dude. Do I have a charge minion in there? <laughs> ah! Now, if you had if you had Leroy Jenkins, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> ah. Okay. Well, we just take a shot. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Well, I did what you get. <laughs> Bolvar. <laughs> fucking Bolvar 4 Dragon. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna heal my. Gonna I'll heal Baku you. instead. The and do you, know the, worst, do you know what the worst part is, right? Yeah. You're gonna get killed by, by a, a minion. <laughs> <laughs> Little <laughs> silver <laughs> hand with. Oh, yeah. Ah! Well, I mean, on the plus side, we got two hands out of this. We got two games out of it during the interview. And it's yeah. tied at 1 1, which means you're going to have to come back for a second episode. Oh. See, well, now, well. now the viewers have no choice. Dan is going to have to return for a second episode going forward. So we can settle once and for all who is the shittest, I mean, best Hearthstone player. <laughs> and to be honest, right, after what we've just seen, it could be either one of us. <laughs> I mean, both of us should have finished that game off much fucking sooner than we did, but we pissed fart exactly. and what the hell we were doing. Um, but yeah, Dan, before we go, is there any any words of wisdom, any words of advice, or anything you would like to impart on the wonderful viewers at home uh, before Ooh. we sign off this episode? Ooh. Um, now, are you talking about like serious words of advice? Or well, it depends. I mean, lemons. Advice? Lemons. One was it takes two to tango, but only one to mango. So, okay, then. <laughs> so it can be anything you um, want, really. I don't mind. Uh, well, I can I can pass on a few words that um, that one of my, like, some of my friends said to me at one point. Yes. And these ones are going to be the funny ones. And then I'll give some advice on which I would say to everyone. So the first ones is if you've got um, one of my one of my friends who recently joined a guild called Farmer Farmer Bill. Farmer Bill. Yeah. Right, and his uh, he has a child uh, called Stacy. Okay. Now, we tried to eventually make up a Stacey's mom joke, and but, <laughs> but we couldn't, uh, because Farm Bill's male. Fair. So then just one of my friends just blurted into my ear going, Stacey's dar has got a tractor! Because he's <laughs> from the West Country. <laughs> so as opposed to Stacey's mom has got it going on. <laughs> exactly, Stacey's dar has got a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have quite the same ring to it, but I'd probably more likely uh, sing that in the club. Pretty much, pretty much. And the words of wisdom that I'm going to go for is just basically... It's almost over. Right? Just be patient and you'll be able to get back out there. Right? Life is returning to normal. Alright? Hold on and everything will be fine. I'm glad you specified when you said it's almost over that you were talking about the pandemic. Because I was just like, <laughs> fucking hell, let's go dark really quickly. <laughs> Jesus! That's all. I mean, to be honest, right? You didn't, you didn't specify how I, how I could get that words of winter. I know! It's almost over, guys. Hell. I know, it's almost hey guys, over. The timer pandemic, is ticking. Pandemic is almost over, guys. We are almost free. <laughs> All right. All I want to know is, I, I know I know some guys, are, as much as you want to get this out, I want to as much as I know there's some people in my friend's group, and I know some people will probably see your friend groups, I think the vaccine is absolutely stupid and not needed. Please take it anywhere. Yeah. Wear your mask. Yes. Just don't, don't be an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's advice I struggle to live by, but... Uh, no, right. <laughs> you've got you, you, to be honest, right? There's two different types of idiots. You've got us two idiots yes. who just who are idiots just for other people's comedic effect. Yes. Then you've got um, Susan on Facebook going, "Ah, chips in the vaccine." <laughs> <laughs> Bill Gates. I've I've had both of my vaccines, and I must admit, my 5G coverage has never been better. Exactly. <laughs> honest, I, I was very, I was very annoyed when I got my when I got my when I got my 5G vaccine. Yeah. 
Just um, it was just like I have. I still it... don't have superpowers yet. It's fucking disgusting. No, well that's not saying. Right, I was told specifically I would grow a third arm, and oh, that was going to be so useful for me when playing World of Warcraft, <laughs> more more keybinds, you know, be able to use my phone. And I was so disappointed when I didn't get it. It just didn't come around. The one that gets exactly. me is um, all those who sit and go. They're putting chips in this to track people. That's what they're doing with the virus. I'm like, is that why they're giving it to all the people in care homes first? Because they're the ones that clearly are posing the biggest threat. Uh, do, 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 <laughs> they're saying that whilst using their Android and <laughs> Android I know. All their they're they're use, using their away. iPhone to type it online. Meanwhile, in the background, <laughs> Apple are going, ha ha ha, ha sucker. <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't mind having like my own FBI agent listening to my conversations. You know, I feel like a bond. God, there, yeah. I mean, I'd be, I'd probably drop in subliminal messages every so often. Like we'd be sitting here just having this. Co- Hi, Dave, and just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Like, can you just imagine if, like, some guy named Dave is the FBI agent there no. was watching this, just, just like, oh, they know. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. I get the images of it being like that episode in The Simpsons where they actually caught someone. The government found someone they were looking for. Yes! <laughs> it just probably 100% what would happen. Ah, oh, dear me. Well, folks, on that um, delightfully chaotic note, get your 5G. I mean, get your vaccine. Um, keep yourself safe. A reminder to vote in the uh, bottom comment. Dan, just give us a quick reminder of what your takeaway of choice was. My takeaway of choice was a Chinese lovely house special house special egg for young, house special egg fried rice, some uh, house special uh, chicken chow mein with some uh, normal fried rice and chips. And of course, an extra portion of prawn crackers just to be safe. Oh, of keep course, you, going you can't. You cannot go that. And obviously, you'll always get your free spring rolls. Yeah, and use the prawn crackers. Do you do what I do and use them like a spoon to scoop up the fried rice? Obviously, there's of no course. else to eat them. Banging, that's good. I'm glad. Okay, we can still be friends. <laughs> uh, folks, exactly. we will be back next week with another, another, another episode of the Top Hot. Fucking hell, what is wrong with me? I'm, I won't take a week off this time. I might just to try and like read a fucking dictionary and remember words again, if I can be honest. But until next week, reminder: stay safe, keep yourselves at home, and we will speak to you all again in seven days' time. Rank the takeaway down there, and have a wonderful week. Mwah! Peace. Bye, boys.